shut up again. You beautiful beings. It's another morning. It's another day. But this is not just a regular day. Oh no. Today we start working on a new project and that is going to be a leather bound tome with a water theme. And I'm so freaking excited to get started. As always, there is a bit of a process to making a book. Not only do we need a design that is absolutely fantastic, we also need a good execution. And that involves staining paper, sewing the signatures together, attaching the covers, and of course, doing a lot of leather working. As you can probably tell, we don't have any time to lose. So let's start working on the paper. So this kind of paper is just sketchbook paper. It's kind of on the thicker side, so it's thicker than copy paper. I like to use my sketchbooks for all kinds of things really, from drawing and writing to painting. So this is kind of just a versatile type of paper. Now I am planning to make this paper look like really old and really worn by staining it with some coffee. And that we're gonna do in the kitchen, because that's what kitchens are for. While the coffee is brewing, I have to separate all the sheets of paper from the sketchbook. Let's go. One, two, three. Finished. If you're wondering what I just did, I just used some baking soda to try to neutralize the coffee because coffee is very acidic and that will make the paper deteriorate over time. And we just want to you know, neutralize it or something. <laughs> now I'm gonna begin staining the paper uh, and that is going to be the rest of my day. this in the book press for overnight just to flatten the pages. It just makes it a bit easier to work with the paper later when it's a bit flatter. There we go. Next up we're gonna sew these together and we need a couple of things for that. First of all we need some kind of square frame. This is just something I made by two by ones and previously I've also used a chair. Works very well. And what I did yesterday before I put this in the book press was to fold all the paper and sort them into signatures. A signature is just a stack of paper of between four and eight pages. I've used four in my signatures. I think I have like a total of 12 or so here, 48 sheets in total. It's a pretty nice stack. Now, before I can start sewing the paper to the jute cord, I just have to make a couple of pulls on the spine. I like to use an awl for that. You can also use a saw if you want because that goes a bit faster, but an awl just makes clean cleaner holes so there and okay almost got my eye there <laughs> okay anyway it's pretty straightforward from here i'm just gonna make those holes and then sew these papers to the jute cord so let's go
So this should be completely dry because I just left it overnight really. And now it's time to attach a ribbon bookmark. I think I'm just gonna do the dark blue one, like there maybe. Fire. Gently poke it into this flame, very fast. Just whoop. Very nice. And now we can glue it to the spine. Yeah, uh, I gotta go wash my hands. This has to dry for like an hour or something. So while this glue dries, I really wanna introduce you to our favorite world building tool, World Anvil. And yes, this is an ad, but I honestly think this is just an incredibly awesome tool. So World Anvil is a world building tool made for writers, role players, dungeon masters, game developers, you name it, anyone who wants to create their own universe. So for example, you can upload your own maps and make them interactive with buildings and cities and also create it's like trading routes and the roads between them and it's just so freaking cool. You can also make timelines to just keep track of your world's history and you can connect that timeline to your characters or artifacts or any other article you might make. And recently they launched family trees so now you can connect your characters together and just create these complex family structures. You can also create different races and magic systems and items and religions, whatever it is that you need to keep track of your world. So if you think this sounds interesting, make sure to click the link down in the description to check them out. I hope you do because they're really awesome. And back to the project. So the glue is dry and now we can sew the headbands. Now, colors. Oh. What fits with this? Maybe these? Maybe we should do like a dark blue and a light blue? I think so. Okay, let's do those. Two colors, two needles, and a core. <laughs> Cut my length here, and uh, let's do some, uh, some smooth sewing. Let's have a look at this. Oh yeah, headbands turn out nice. The ribbon is looking nice. I think we're good to go. So the next step for us now is really just to attach the cover boards. And for that, I'm gonna use some wooden chipboard that is three millimeters thick. So let me just go get that. Freak. Yeah, uh, that's a large piece. Where's my book? How do we, like this should be fine. Let's measure this. Good morning everyone! So the book should be completely dry now because I left it overnight. So let's have a look at it, shall we? We just put you over here. Okay, let's have a look. Oh yes, nice and flat, just completely flat against the cover. Dang! Okay, okay, looking good. These are also looking very flat and nice. Oh yeah, this is really good. <laughs> oh, because now it's like starting to look like a book, finally. Look at this. <laughs> yes. So at this point, I can finally attach the leather to the spine here first and then to the rest of the cover. The leather I'm gonna use is one millimeter thick goatskin leather that has been vegetable tanned.
finished off the belts and dyed them in this just gorgeous royal blue color and I also attached them to the book and glued the leather to the book itself and now I know I'm going through all of this pretty quickly but if you're interested in bookbinding and you want to learn more about the process we do have this mini course called quest log that is available for our patrons from the apprentice tier and up so if you're interested in learning more about bookbinding and how I do all of these steps I will leave a link to our patreon down below so you can check it out but now Let's begin the carving! It's finally finished and I'm gonna show you some epic footage of the final result in just a second but first let's talk about that merch store and add patreon plug and merch in one video Jesus Christ Martino no but seriously this arrived in the mail yesterday and I think it's so freaking cool and I mean it's been one and a half years since I started this series I just wanted to you know, celebrate it with some cool shirts with each of the tones represented on it. This will be a one-time thing only. If you're interested, check it out. And finally, thank you for your patience through all of this. I know it's been a long time, but now let's have a look at the final result. Oh my god, it's so underestimated how good it feels to finish a big project. Oh.